Hello children, I am your teacher from grade 4 and today we are going to learn the second part of our food lesson. During this session, we are going to learn importance of medicinal drinks, how to serve food, ways of preserving food and the importance of maintaining the cleanliness of food. Before we start, let's do a quick review on what you learned from the last lesson. On the previous presentation, you learned why you should have healthy food discomforts caused by not having healthy food and the fact that you should eat healthy food and drink medicinal beverages to avoid such discomforts. Now we are going to learn more on medicinal drinks. Do you know any medicinal drinks? Have you ever had any medicinal drinks? If you have drunk medicinal beverages, well done, give yourself a high five. But if you haven't tried any, you should try them due to the prevailing situation in our country and the whole world. Medicinal drinks or beverages help us to cure diseases, cool our body and help to have a healthy body. To have a healthy body, you should build your immune system. That's why you need medicinal drinks. Let's pay attention to a few remedial quality beverages which are popular. You can prepare them as a drink, like herbal tea, as porridge or as a fresh drink by extracting the raw materials. Belly flower, ranavara and Indian sarsaparilla in single iramusu can be boiled and prepared as herbal tea or a drink. You can make porridge by grinding herbs such as evalanata in single polpala, shatavari in single hathavariya, Mukunuanna, go to color, balloon wine in Singhala Valpenella by boiling them with some garlic and cooked rice. You can make fresh juice by grinding the raw medicinal fruits such as cucumber in Singhala Pipinya, Ceylon olive in Singhala Veralu, Musk Malone in Singhala Kakiri, Indian gooseberry in Singhala Nelli with some water and some sugar. Let's move on and focus on the differences between artificial beverages and natural medicinal beverages. The term artificial itself gives an image of something not natural. Most artificial beverages are carbonated beverages. Although occasional consumption of these drinks may not be harmful to your health, consuming soft drinks in high sugar and made with artificial ingredients regularly is not healthy as they cause obesity, the condition of being too much heavy for one's height, heart diseases and toothaches, etc. These artificial beverages contain chemicals identical to the actual taste of fruits, colorings, food attraction, preservatives to protect the freshness of the drinks for a long time, large amount of sugar which causes diseases. Medicinal beverages are some of the healthiest things you can drink. The vitamins, minerals and antioxidants, a good chemical that protects our cells, found in many medicinal plants have shown to provide many short and long term health benefits. These drinks can be a great alternative to your daily sugary and soft drinks while still providing great taste and a natural boost to your day. They help us by fighting the cold, improving our digestion, the process of absorption of food to our body and boosting our immune system. Medicinal drinks do not contain chemicals, colorings, preservatives and more sugar. How do we serve food and beverages? You must be thinking like why should you learn about serving food? Well, it is an etiquette that we should practice. The way you serve shows an impression about yourself. First, you need basic utensils or things needed to serve food and beverages. They are plates, cutlery such as spoons, forks, knives, glasses with different shapes for different drinks, small bowls, 
cups and saucers, serviettes, etc. Now let's see what are the things to be considered before serving food and drinks. You must use suitable glasses for cool drinks such as fruit juices and cordials and cup and saucers for the hot drinks such as tea and coffee etc. Before you serve food or drinks you need to wash and wipe the containers well. When pouring the drinks you should not fill the whole glass as it's hard to drink. Therefore you need to pour the proper amount of drinks into the glasses. You should arrange food properly on the plate or bowl as it's pleasant to the one who eats. When serving the warm beverages like tea or coffee, we have to keep the handle of the cup that sits to the right hand of the side of the receiver. Fold the serviette attractively according to the food or drink that you serve and use a clean tray to serve. Make sure that the food is not spilled on it. Be concerned about the size of the bowl which is used to serve. All the points discussed are all about providing comfort for the one who eats, as it's our tradition as Sri Lankans. Do you know what is meant by preserving food? The term preserve means to keep something for a longer period. Methods used to keep food for a long time for future consumption are called ways of preserving food. Some of them are drying fruits like grapes, etc. Burying in the sand, you can bury jackfruit seeds, lime, etc. Fumigation, exposing the plant and or banana to the smoke. Sealed in tins and packets, for example, salmon, milk powder. You can keep most of the food in refrigerator to preserve. Soaking in bee honey. You can preserve meat by soaking in bee honey. By salting, for example, fish or lime. Now let's see how foods become unclean. Different things cause food to become unclean. They are by animals, harmed by domestic or insects such as cats, cockroaches, geckos and mice, by improper packing, harmed by weevils and worms, by environmental conditions, harmed by exposing to the dust and rain, exposing to the sunlight and exhaust smoke of the vehicles, by human activities, exposing the food carelessly, packing the food carelessly, cooking meals recklessly, using chemicals to preserve and ripen. It is important to maintain the hygiene of the food. Some of the steps that we can follow are keep the place or the kitchen clean where the food is prepared. Keep the kitchen containers and kitchen utensils clean. The people who prepare food should maintain his or her hygiene. Use aprons, headgears and gloves when preparing food. Without maintaining the hygiene of the food, we might face lots of problems. These are the disadvantages caused by keeping food unclean. Causes diseases such as stomachache, diarrhea, allergies, vomiting, ringworm, dysentery and cholera. Waste of money. Have to spend money when you get sick. Have to rebuy food that is wasted. Disturbs or interrupts daily work. Can't attend the school. Can't report to the workstations. Wasting time. It is important to consume healthy food. Similarly, you should drink sufficient water as our body contains about 60% of water. However, we must make sure to drink clean water by boiling it or by filtering it. Since using unclean water may cause diseases like cholera and hepatitis, etc. Try to do the following fun activities at home and send the pictures to our email address. Now it's time to use your thinking caps. Let's see whether you paid attention. 
try to answer the following questions. Why should we have medicinal drinks rather than having artificial drinks? State five medicinal beverages. Provide four ways of preserving food with examples. What can we do to maintain the cleanliness of food? How can food become unclean? State four such instances. What are the harmful effects caused by having unclean food? Name four things to be considered before serving food. That's the end of our food lesson. I hope I can see you soon at school once we get over this crisis. Until then, goodbye. Be healthy and safe.